This is a screencast on how to interpret and use scales charts showing temperature. So, next, um, as you can see on here, this is a table that's showing temperature of a range of things. When we interpret a table like this, the first thing we need to look for is the title. So the title in this case is NYC Subway Temperature Conversion. NYC stands for New York City. So that gives us a clue or some information about what this table is about. So it's to do with temperature and it's to do with conversion. Then my second step is to look for the headings of the table. So on here it's got Lexington Ave subway stations degrees Fahrenheit and it's got easy conversion approx degrees Celsius, precise conversion exact Celsius. So what that tells me is, is these are the degrees at Lexington station and Fahrenheit. This is it converted into um, approximately rounded into Celsius and this is the exact temperature in Celsius. Let's take a look at another chart. With this chart here, and it's a little unclear, there's no heading that we can go for, so that doesn't quite work, but we have some other information that we can use to help us interpret this chart. Number one is you have the key down the bottom. This is a good place. If you see a key, start here. So this says, this, this colour here says precipitation, which means rain. Red line means high, and blue line means low. Then my second place to do when we're looking at a graph like this is to look at the axis. So you have the y-axis and the x-axis along here. So here I can see it says degrees Fahrenheit. Along here it's January to December. And up here it says inches. So, if I was to interpret this graph, I can see that this line here means the temperature. How high the temperature has got on average. And here is the, the minimum temperature during that same time. And these bars here are how many inches of rain have fallen. Precipitation. Let's try another example. This one here is another, ch is another chart um, of a type of chart. Now this one here is an interesting one. The title is actually along the bottom, so we use the title. And then we can use this, it's kind of like a continuum, but it's got a key on here. It's like a key. Because what it does is it tells you in Celsius and Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit's the one running along the top here, because that's where the F is, and Celsius is running along here, because that's where the C is. But what it tells you is it tells you what the different colours mean. So when you look at this globe here that's been flattened out, you can tell, for instance, that the red pieces through here are 30 degrees on average. While the blue here is more like 20, or negative 20, I should say. So you can use this to help determine things. So really key points are, are look for the title, Look for the headings, look for the key, and also look at the y and x-axis, the axis of the graphs.